And the goal by Hugh Roberts in the 87th minute, the only tally of a game where David FC Cincinnati, man, they get on the plane, they're going to think of so many chances they had. And they came out, and it was instant. In the opening 10 minutes, they had two looks that should have been goals. Both of them fall to Dakers. This is the first one. Just takes too long a touch, takes too much time, and he's not able to get his chance away. Bethlehem was able to settle down later on, and they got the ball wide to Epps, who was their best chance creator throughout this game alongside Kone up top. You get a dangerous look for Wiedemann at center forward, and a look where got to think maybe GB would have put it away. Wiedemann's able to get ahead to it, not able to finish, and I love the defending here. Hugh Roberts was a rock at the back all game. You can see the presence that he has next to a young player like Trusty to just make that back line more solidified. And James Chambers as well comes back into this game after being out injured. A 30-year-old central midfielder who's played overseas in Ireland who brings a little bit more po poise to this Bethlehem team. And this was all the chances that they were able to create as that first half wore along. They go into the locker room, Dave, and they're feeling pretty good about themselves. Yeah, this was a nil-nil game, and Cincinnati was going to get even more chances. There's the crossbar off of Craven's effort. Watch how close this is. It's just a little high, as you can see, but... That would not be the only time that a post or crossbar would factor in. This is a beautiful flick by McLaughlin and then Wiedemann. What happened there? It has to be a finish there from Wiedemann, and it was in those moments where Cincinnati panicked where you wonder who's going to be able to score goals. This is a gorgeous free kick from Aiden Quinn, but it's just an inch too far away. And then Bethlehem took their risks. They took a few half chances. They earned a corner kick, a free kick around the box here and there. And Hugh Roberts just rises up in a crowd. He wins it over two other center backs. Nothing Hildebrand can do about it. And the worst possible ending for FC Cincinnati.